Hi, my name is Dhanya. I'm a master nanotechnology student here at the University of Twente, and I'm happy you guys are joining me today. Come on, let's go inside. I can't wait to show you around. Well, you must be wondering why I chose to study nanotechnology here at the University of Twente. One of the main reasons is its link to world-renowned institutes such as MISA Plus and MIRA. And then of course there is the curriculum in itself. It is a highly interdisciplinary study program that helps you choose from a wide range of electives depending on your interests and your passion. It is so inspiring because you see so many uh, really smart people doing such inspiring work here, it actually motivates you to work hard. I will take you to the Nanolab later, but I want you to meet my classmates here first. Hi guys! The atmosphere here at the University of Twente is very friendly and you immediately feel you belong here. You don't feel out of place when you come from a foreign country. Okay guys, I'd like to move on with the part unconventional electronics. And I thought a nice way of introducing that part. So now we are in one of the nano electronic question. courses taught by Wilfred van der Weyl. It's important, of course, to engage students really in your lectures instead of just one way traffic, only sending. I try to really interact with the students. Is what was around in 1975. Do you have any idea, Danya? Probably the baby. What I find myself intriguing about nanotechnology is that, uh, first of all, it's really at the forefront of science and technology but also you see that in nanotechnology, the classical barriers between disciplines disappear. So I think uh, that's it for today. Professors are very helpful and you can contact them whenever you want and, and you don't have to worry about whether I can talk to him or not. And they're always approachable and they're there for you when you need them. The focus of my project is to produce smart materials based on liquid crystals. So uh, why I say these materials are smart, because they can convert light energy into mechanical energy, and they're very small in size, so micrometers to nanometers in size, and by changing their properties at the nanometer, you can change how they behave as, as a bulk. So these can be used for uh, applications in a lab on a chip technology. Hi, Albert. Hi, Lydia. How are you? Good, and you? I'm doing good, too. Ah. So you succeeded in making the, the droplets Yes, here? this experiment looks nice. Very so good. We've got 10 shells. Well, the program of nanotechnology in Twente is unique because it's truly multidisciplinary. So you have parts which are chemistry, electrical engineering, physics, material science, microfabrication, and all these things together form the course of nanotechnology. The facilities are a very high level. We've been visiting the United States, many top universities, Stanford, Berkeley, MIT, and they don't have the, the same facilities that we have here. How about the uh, polymerization? Is that uh, yes. UV? Uh, uh, yes, so we take them out of the chip and then... We students are involved in many ways. The students that are part of our research group, they participate in research by being connected to PhD students. And in that way, they assist in their PhD work and they also form a part of a research team. So what you see here is part of our nanolab. It contains the state-of-the-art technologies. And when you come here as a nanotechnology student, you actually get to work with most of these. Now we're gonna meet Hus Reinders, who's the director of MISA Plus. He's in here and he's working with Comat. Let's take a look. Hi Hus. Hey, How good are to see you? you. I'm fine. I was just telling them about Comat. Could you explain to them a little better? Yeah, sure, come on. This is the Comat system. It's a pulse laser deposition. Mm -hmm. You make new materials with atomic control. My research is devoted to oxide materials. Oxide materials have very interesting properties. They can conduct a, a lot of current as a superconductor or uh, is one of the best insulators. And if you combine them on the atomic scale, then you can get new functionalities uh, for new devices in electronics, for instance. The MESA Plus Institute for Nanotechnology here at this university combines all the research activities in the field of nanotechnology and material science 
So for the students that uh, go into the master of uh, nanotechnology, this is very important. They are on the one hand are researchers uh, active in the field of nanotechnology, but also on the other hand they are involved in the education. Thank you very much for your time, Bas. Have a nice day. It was my pleasure. Have a nice day. Thank you. Well. <laughs> Bye. Bye. If you are a material scientist, if you are interested in nanotechnology, if you want to make new machines working at a nanoscale, then you definitely should come to the Netherlands, to the University of Twente, to study nanotechnology. Technology. Students in the Master Nanotechnology come literally from all over the world. We have students like Danya from India, but also from other upcoming countries like Brazil and China, who are extremely enthusiastic, motivated, and we are very much looking forward to work together with students like them. And after a long day at work, you can go to the city centre of Enskede, or even come here at the cafe to have a nice drink and enjoy the sun. To everybody who's still deciding whether to come to the University of Twente or not, I would say just make your mind and come here because it's a great opportunity. The course trains you very well in what you want to do and it's really fun being here. You won't miss home. I would say it would be the best opportunity in your life. Thank you for joining me today. I hope I've sparked your interest in nanotechnology. See you at the University of Twente.